Earth Heroes. Earth Heroes. Earth Heroes. Hello, campers. <laughs> We've had an awesome week so far. Now today, Miss Lee and I thought we could do an activity where we reuse materials and give a gift back to the earth. So you've heard of reduce, reuse, and recycle, right? Reduce means to use less of something. Reuse means to use something that you might throw away in a new, in a new way. And recycle means you might send a product back to a factory where they break it down and turn it into something new. So there's a lot of things that we can reuse and repurpose. Let's see some examples and find out a little bit more. Hey campers, I'm so happy you came back. Today we're gonna go over a couple of items that Miss Kathleen and I have around our own homes that we like to repurpose. Some things that typically you'd probably just throw in the trash. For example, one of these items is a jar. And usually we just use the product and then throw the jar away. Let's think of another thing that we could repurpose this jar for. Whoa, do you like my cool bead storage? This is an item that I really like to use in my craft room and at home to put little tiny items in because they make great storage. That way I don't have to just throw away the jar. Now, how many of you know an adult who really enjoys drinking caffeine every day? I know I do, especially with these single-use coffee pods. Now, what on earth do you think we could do with these? I have a surprise for you. Did you know that inside of these single-use coffee pods, you can remove the coffee and you can plant a baby seed in there so it can sprout new life? I think that's a really great way to repurpose all these single-use coffee pods that I know I drink. Now, on this table, you can see that there's a lot of other items that you normally might throw away that you can repurpose and use. So I wanna encourage you, Earth Heroes, and for you to encourage others to reuse items that you have around the house. Today's project is to construct a bird feeder. Bird feeders come in all shapes and sizes because birds come in all shapes and sizes. Now when you're making your bird feeder, there's three things that are important to include. So let's think about it together. When you go to a restaurant, what do you expect to have? Wow, what a lovely restaurant. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. <laughs> In a restaurant, we expect to have a place to sit. So birds in our bird feeder, they also expect to have a perch. Most birds can't eat and fly at the same time. So that's the first thing that you need in your bird feeder is a place for your bird to perch. I'll have this cereal, please. Mmm. Oh, this looks delightful. Mmm, <laughs> thank you. I'll have this cereal, please. you can see here, it's very important to have something where we can hold our food. And so on your bird feeder, you need to find a way to hold the bird seed. Hey, look at this nice bird feeder. Oh. Oh gosh, this is just so nice. Oh, I feel so safe here. Oh, I love eating about to see. Cool. Hey, there's another one over there. Oh, there is? Oh, this one's nice too. Hey, there's one over there too. This direction. I don't know how I feel about this one. I think we should get out of here. Too many people can see us and there's no bird seat in here. Okay. We'll just hang out on this one. <gasps> when you're making your bird feeder, it's important to include some sort of camouflage and protection. Birds are vulnerable when they're eating. 
so some camouflage will help them stay safe. So remember the three things that your bird feeder needs to have are a place to perch, some place to hold the bird seed, and some kind of camouflage protection. Other than that, be as creative as you can be. I'm going to walk you through a few different techniques that you can implement into your bird feeder design. Now we're all creative in different ways. So the way that I look at certain supplies, you may look at them differently. I created a very different bird feeder than Miss Kathleen did. And so I'm not gonna tell you exactly what to do to build your bird feeder. I'm just gonna give you a couple of tips to maybe give you a little inspiration. Now in your camp kit, and if you don't have a camp kit, all we're using is just a paper roll. The first technique I'm going to walk you through is applying your vegetable shortening to a paper roll and then applying your bird seed. The next technique I'm going to show you is a way that you could implement into your design a place that your birds could perch. This is a glue-free technique where you're able to use sticks and yarn in order to bind sticks together and maybe put that in your bird feeder design somehow. I'm going to be showing you an example with two sticks and a little bit of yarn. Now, maybe you wanna use three or four sticks you're absolutely able to do that. This is your bird feeder. The next technique that I'm going to show you is going to help keep your bird seed contained in your bird feeder. So whenever you pour bird seed in, it doesn't just fall out all over the ground because that's an important element of a, of a bird feeder. In this technique, I'm going to be using popsicle sticks and glue, and I'm gonna be teaching you how to build, it's basically like a log cabin style base for your bird feeder that has small edges on it, so it'll keep your bird seed contained. Okay, y'all ready for this? Now that you've done an amazing job creating part of the base for your bird feeder, it's finally time to put your bird seed in. Just like this. That doesn't work, does it? Nope. That's because we need another part of the base to help hold the seeds in. I'm going to just use a piece of paper. I'm gonna glue it to the bottom and then I'll be able to put the bird seed inside and that'll keep the bird seed from spilling everywhere. Now, you don't have to use paper. You could use leaves, you could use broken up sticks that you find outside, or you could even keep going with your popsicle sticks. It is whatever floats your boat and whatever design you would like to do for your bird feeder. That works a little better. Have fun being creative. Bye. Oh, wow, these are great bird feeders. Wow, they look so different. I love them. That's so cool. I never would have even thought about doing that on mine. Me neither. When you're done building your creation, find a place to hang it up. And then it is always fun to share with your family and friends some of your favorite things. My two favorite things are these sweet gumballs. They're spiky and they're good for protection. I also really like 
how I decorated my paper towel roll. Look, it kind of is decorated like a tree. The two favorite things about my bird feeder is it's time to open up day four clue. So go do that right now. And the second thing about my bird feeder that I love is that I think it kind of looks like my mom. Now that you're all done making your bird feeder, you might start to notice some visitors coming by. We've included the familiar feathered friends bird guide to help you identify any visitors that you might have at your feeder. Yeah, Blaine, is that you? Oh, hey, Leah. Oh, it's me out here. here. Oh, hey. Oh, I was just out here looking around. Okay. Uh, it's a nice day. Sure is. Uh, I just was following you out here because I've been needing to tell you something. Oh, what's that? You can tell me anything. Uh, well, it's a pretty big secret. Oh, I know about the raccoon that sits at your desk. Who told you? Shane, hello, this is Leah. Carrots that you packed in my lunch. No, I'm eating them all. I'm busy, Mom. I'm, no, I've got to go. Hey, does anyone know is Leah here today? Uh, no, she's not here. Uh, she's just going to be really, really busy this week. Leah, so. we can see your legs. talk to you about. Oh, well, it has to do with summer camp. With camp? Holy oh, yeah. What do you mean? Well, uh, I've been leaving the campers clues. Clues? Uh -huh. Did you know about this? Oh, oh yes, they did. did. My little earth heroes. They knew about it all week. What were they clues for? On how to become an earth hero. <gasps> you know how to become an earth hero? Was I not? You never told me about No, that. it's okay, Kathleen, because I've got a surprise for you. Oh, yeah? What is it? I've got a mega clue for you. Wow, it says, but it says do not open super duper secret message on it. You can open it. I can now. open it. Okay. Wow. That's amazing. Oh, I know. I would have never known. Thanks for this clue. You're welcome. That's Adam coming Earth Hero. Hi Earth Heroes, we are so proud of you for participating all week long in camp. Miss Kathleen and I had a really great time putting together all of the activities for you and we hope that you enjoyed it too. Now remember to take what you learned and use it every day in your life to continue to be an Earth Hero. And the most, one of the most important things is yet to come. And don't forget to look and check back later to see the final results of the trash challenge. Trash challenge. To find out who wins. And if I get a pie in the face, she gets a pie in the face. Mm. Or if you will have a summertime writing, writing assignment. assignment. We'll see you next time. Bye. Just had to have confetti, didn't we? Let's do confetti, she said. The Earth Heroes need confetti, she said. <laughs> I'm she. <laughs> Kathleen, you said you had work to do, and that's why you couldn't help me pick up. Yeah, I, I'm doing work. No, -uh, so you a great... said that you had like a lesson planned to write about beetles. <laughs>